We begin with breaking news and new deputies are looking for a suspected bank robber in Pompano Beach. Chopper 4 was over the scene where you can see a very heavy police presence along with the FBI. CBS 4's Ted Scown is live in near the bank with the latest. Ted. Yeah, Maribel, this really turned into a much larger operation, both here in the parking lot of the Chase Bank as well as the Walmart parking lot, which is right next door to here. Uh, let's take a look at some video from Chopper 4. Uh, we were told that a man entered the bank around 9 o'clock this morning and demanded money from the teller uh, and then took off, that coming from the FBI. This bank, this is the Chase Bank located at Powerline in Atlantic in Pompano Beach. Now, a source told us that the guy may have been wearing a disguise that when he took off, that he took off running to the neighboring uh, Walmart. Walmart parking lot where he had a bicycle waiting. We are told that he changed his appearance once he was over there. Uh, the FBI put out some pictures a little while ago showing that uh, this suspect had dreadlocks when he was inside the bank. We understand that was a disguise that he removed those dreadlocks and that he removed that he changed his clothes when he took off on that bicycle. Initially, investigators thought uh, that he may have gone inside of the Walmart, perhaps so he could blend in. That's why the SWAT team was called out here. The BSO SWAT team was in the park. Parking lot of Walmart on standby just in case uh, they were needed. But we understand instead of going into the store, he got on that bicycle and just pedaled away and ended up eluding police. So, once again, this robbery happening, happening at the Chase Bank at Powerline in Atlantic around 9 o'clock this morning. That suspected robber, that robber still on the run this afternoon. Live in Pompano Beach, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.